Hey, what's up? What's up? This is your man, J. Parker, a.k.a. Coach Guys. Welcome to this video. Um, if you're a first-time viewer, I just want to thank you for stopping by, checking out um, the content. Um, I am the founder and owner of Trade Hippo LLC, which is a um, which is an e-commerce store that specializes in buying and selling Jitney News and Vintage Apparel. This is a business that I've been running out of um, out of a warehouse space that I have in my basement now for the last seven years. And um, it's really cool. I've been doing it as a side hustle. Um, have never done it full time. It's always been very spare time, spare time. And um, I'm getting ready to work on seeing if I could um, put things in place with my systems um, to be able to scale the business some. Um, I've went back and forth, to be honest with you guys, I went back and forth in the past, man, trying to decide if I was going to keep the business. Um, the only thing, the only problem that I have with my reselling business is, is that the listing part can get tedious. It can get very tedious for you. And so one of my goals that I want to do is I want to see if I could figure out a, a system and a framework that allows me to be able to go in and make the level of money that I want to make from my e-commerce business while also not creating something that I hate. Now, the way that I'm planning on scaling in the future, making more money, because we all know that when you do resale, you it's, it's like trading time for dollars. So the only way you can scale bigger is you have to build a bigger operation that you could bring on employees to help you and eventually to replace you. And then you work on your business instead of your business. But the majority of resale businesses, the reality is, is that the owners work in the business. Now I own a carrier company that I run, that I do routes um, for Amazon and Walmart um, as far as last mile delivery. And I do that now pretty much in the daytime. So what I'm thinking about doing now, since I got that kind of dialed in to where by 3.30, I'm done with that. I'm thinking about saying, okay, well, I'm going to take four hours a day and dedicate it to my resale business and just get in and really tighten my store up um, and also put in place the processes and the procedures. And then once I'm done doing that, I can see what that looks like. And so... Um, on this channel, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be allowing you guys to peer in and follow along with me as I um, work on revamping my e-commerce business and, and getting it organized and systematized. And then we'll take it from there. Um, I believe reselling is, is a very good business model. And I believe if you're the type of person where you can do repetitive work and, and you don't have a problem with sitting down and, and, and doing detailed work, then you can thrive in this business. You don't, it doesn't matter how much money you have because you can get started with as little as 20 to $50. Um, your background doesn't matter. And I know a lot of people have things on their background, such as felonies and things like that. You don't have to worry about with this. Um, you don't have to spend any money on advertisement because you can go in and partner with a platform. Um, I actually put my store on top of the eBay platform. So eBay drives all the customers to me and I don't have to sell them. Uh, I don't have to um, pay them a fee until my item sells. So that allows me to be able to pay them out the money I make. So that way I could focus on the, the back end of my business, um, learning how to go out and source, how to grade, how to take, how to clean, how to take pictures, how to set up inventory systems, how to ship, how to do customer service. And that's what I've been focused on for the last seven years. And it's worked really good. And one of the ways that you can scale as far as selling wise is, is that you get real good at one platform and get everything streamlined and then you can add an additional platform. Um, another way is to sell things around your brand. And that's again why I think this is such a good business model if you could figure it out is because you can have, like I said, you can have a background that you're not, that, that that's, that's uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That's limiting you in a in a way. Um, it doesn't matter with this. Um, whatever age doesn't matter. What your location doesn't matter. Um, if you have some creativity and some hustle, you can make money with this. 
And then you could take that and just the um, just the, the idea of you being able to be as creative as you want to build out your brand and to figure out other ways to make money around your reseller. And that's kind of what I'm going to be doing with this um, what this show is, is that I'm going to try to show you guys my process of trying to figure out how I can make way more money reselling without having to have a big store. And one of the ways I'm looking to do that is, is that I have a, um, an idea for a resource that I want to sell um, for those who are looking to get into reselling, where you'll be able to come and plug into this resource, everything that you'll need to be there. And I'll charge like a monthly fee for that. And that'll come with an accountability group and a community. And so I'm thinking about doing that. Um, I'm also um, thinking about creating some content and then selling other high-end trainings and things like that around the content. And I have some ideas for that because I've already put some things in place. And so this is going to be good, guys. This is going to allow me to be able to have a platform to be able to share with you guys what I'm doing, what I'm thinking. Um, can I take this brand and turn it into something that I enjoy doing um, from the comfort of my home? And my whole my whole goal, guys, is and I'm going to go ahead and get off here because I got to get to moving. But my whole goal is to be able to move away from my my carrier company this fall and to be running this brand and this business and anything else around it that I figure out how to uh, make some money with around this brand this fall and get out of um, and get out of the carrier business. You know, I rather come in and do a solid six hours working on my e-commerce store and then put in like another four to five hours working on the things that I'm building around the e-commerce store to be able to make money, such as the, um, the resource and accountability group, things like that, and be strictly at home. So we're going to see. We're going to see what we can do. Um, and this brand, man, to be honest with you, I started to pull the plug on this brand so many times, but I kept hesitating because I wanted to make sure that's what I wanted to do before I did it. And so as of right now, I go back and forth every other day with what I'm thinking. But I'm going to go ahead and put some commitment behind trying to figure this out. And we're going to see what we can do with this. And you never know, I might be able to create something that's really cool that I love running from home. Right now, I love buying and selling. I love sourcing. The only thing I hate is listing. So if that's a problem for me, if I can find a solution to that problem and figure that out, then I know a lot of other people would pay for that solution. All right. Orville J. Parker, a.k.a. Coach Guys. I'm the founder and owner of Trade Hippo LLC, which is an e-commerce store that specializes in buying and selling gently used and vintage apparel. We operate in what we call circular fashion. You know, we go out and we rescue items before they hit the landfills, rag houses. Uh, we handpick all of our inventory, bring it back on site. We clean it, we grade it, and then we um, take pictures and we list it on our site and we sell to a global customer base all around the world. Really, really cool. I'll catch you guys on the next video. God bless.